Isn't this just a delightful title to a video? Home review, Daniel Bernstein versus the Ace family. I don't know why or like how I thought of doing this because these are not the most likable people on the internet. Actually, I would say they are hated. I think. I don't really know much about either of them, but I know that they're both kind of in like weird scandals or have always been in weird scandals. Daniel Bernstein um, loves to steal from small creators and use them in her designs at who, what, where, or whatever her company is called. You see it all over TikTok. People are very angry with Danielle Bernstein. Um, and I must say, I'm not a huge fan of hers. I don't even really know who she is. And if she's ripping off small creators, that is not cool. And then you have the Ace family, who I don't watch, but find very, very interesting. They recently got kicked out of their old home. It was uh, foreclosed. And they kind of are like tiptoeing around it and somehow got a new home even though they're in foreclosure. So uh, all of these people are a little bit sketchy, which makes for a great home review. I can already tell this is going to be an interesting matchup. I don't think I like either of their homes. I don't think I like either of these people. So let's see who comes out on top, I guess, of um, my home review of Daniel Bernstein and the Ace family. God, I can't believe I'm I'm even doing this. Oh, welcome to my Soho law. Hey guys, come in. This is Lauren from LP Creative, my amazing interior designer, and we worked so closely to make this place everything it is. They're already giving me vibes of like the motel makeover girls just in the way that they talk. I'm so excited to show you guys everything. We worked so hard over the past Six months? Six months. Basically to make this happen and not sharing it was the craziest thing ever. Was it that crazy? I feel like six months, first off, isn't that long to decorate a house, especially if you're gonna paint the whole thing. And also the place is just, there's just too much lime wash already just from like the little views that we've had. It has a ton of lime wash even on the ceiling. It looks like sponge painting. I just feel like you should keep it to one room if you're gonna do that trend, not do your entire apartment. We did this beautiful lime wash color that was called wheat. Wheat. So you'll see it throughout the entire apartment and it gives it like a very zen vibe and almost feels like you're like in Europe or in, it's meant to look like Venetian plaster um, but it's a much more like attainable way to get that look. It just looks like a DIY sponge paint that I don't like. She's definitely gonna look back on this one and be like yikes. That's why you don't want to go too hard on any trend. Because you look back and you go, yikes. And then we got this huge, huge mirror that we had custom made in Brooklyn. I wanted a perfect selfie mirror to take all my outfit photos. <sighs> I mean, another resemblance to the Motel Makeover Girls, just focusing on that selfie. I mean, I like the mirror, but why does it have to be focused on getting the perfect selfie? I really just don't love when people say that, I guess. Like, let's just relax. You got the mirror because you like it. And it just happens that you can take a good selfie. So let's start with the wall. So both walls on either side of the apartment were brick when we came here. And I really wanted the entire apartment to be one lime wash. This wall was very inspired by Axel Verborg. Okay, the ceiling is really cool. The wooden ceiling. Obviously, I really love that. And then the lime wash, again, is just really 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 bad we built this with a pressure fitted wall and then paint plastered and painted over it um this you can sit on but it's a little bit hollow so we don't stand on it okay why well, why did they get this like custom wall put in i mean i guess if she's planning on living here for years it just really feels like a production design like something that would be in a music video it just doesn't feel realistic for your house and it just looks cheap kind of and you can't even sit on it or stand on it because it's too hollow. I don't like it. So we built a TV into the wall and you can actually like press on it on either side. And then I realized that I wanted this wall to feel like there was no electronics in it basically. I do like the idea of covering up a TV if you can, but it's kind of weird. The piece of art that she chose to cover the TV just literally looks like a TV. It's the same size as a TV. It's dark. It has nothing like interesting on it. It literally looks like a weird 
plaster version of a, of a flat screen. I don't know. She's in the right direction, but I don't feel like it did much. So the first things we got for the living room were these chairs. These we sourced from Ponce Burga in West Palm Beach. They are so delicious. I do like the chairs, but I don't like when people describe things as delicious. Like, oh, that is so delicious. It's so yummy. And then this marble cube is from First Dibs. Okay, yes, I like the marble cube. And it's from First Dibs, which you all know is my dream to one day shop at First Dibs. <laughs> which I probably could now, but like it would have to be the like the cheapest thing that's on the website because that shit is expensive on there. Yeah. I feel like there's like too much organic shit happening. The coffee table looks like Play-Doh and the walls are plastery and everything is just this moldy natural sculpture. I don't, it's too much of it. Like they just went all out on one style and it just looks bad with like small pieces that I can give or take. Let's go over to the Ace family and see what they're up to because, um, you know, these houses are just so comparable. <laughs> I just took a shower and Austin said, let's film the house tour at night because the house looks sexier at night. And I said, no. <laughs> I, what, what is going on? Why are they like in this weird corner and just immediately feels really, really inauthentic to me? But maybe that's just me. What are we doing right now? And now we're here. And now we're filming a house tour. The like guys here is not. Okay, uh, yeah, we're going to skip all of this. But for those who don't know, the Ace family used to live in this, like, multi-million dollar house that had just a shit ton of problems. Like, the ceiling was leaking and things weren't built properly. So, like, there's a lot of things that weren't done right. Really, it rains in my house every time someone uses one of the bathrooms. Like, you'll see, like, water downstairs, like, coming down. Every time it rained, as you can see, like, this puddle situation. Like, the finishing on the house, terrible. I give that a zero. The bones, I would give that, like, a 10. A, a 10. Uh, and that's, like, to, to 100, right? Um, the, the land, 100. Beautiful land. But like everything else, trash, right? I personally think that they were trying to cut corners. They they blame it on all of the other people, like all of the contractors. And yeah, I'm sure they maybe they got scammed here and there. But I think that they were cutting corners. And then they were kicked out of their house, and it's under foreclosure. And now they're in this new house. And I'm curious, is this? Did they buy this or did they rent it? I don't know. But that's the background story, and we're gonna skip over all of this, like weird la di da Hello. come on in the ace family move on. Go. Go. They're here, Mom. Mom. okay i do like the movie theater it's very sleek and i like how clean it feels i don't know about family channels are just super strange to me like you're just filming these little kids and putting it out for so many people to see the three over three million people have watched this video I don't know how I feel about family channels. I just feel like there should be some regulations. I am the happiest whenever the vibes are like this. It literally looks like it's staged to sell. Is that just me? Doesn't it? That all looks like staging furniture. I mean, I guess some people have that style, but. The waterfalls. If you're a fan of waterfalls, just give this video a thumbs up. I don't know. It just does something to me, to my body, to my life. To my mind, to my soul. I just love the vibes. It makes me so happy. God, I don't know what it is about this guy, but I just feel like it's all for show. It's all for the camera. A little closer. We got the orchid. You guys know I love my orchid? Mm -hmm. People do love a good orchid. I feel like a lot of rich modern homes have an orchid in the bathroom, an orchid on the counter, and then I guess an orchid in the middle of the dining table with some nice white leather chairs. Beautiful. This room is only doing one thing and it's staging to sell. So if this is really their stuff, it's pretty bad. Looks like they kept that self-playing piano from their like first, first home. I just remember like when I first started this YouTube channel, I reviewed the Ace Family uh, home and I think it's the one that they just foreclosed on. But they had that like weird self-playing piano that you see in a Nordstrom. So now over here we have the living room. K 
Catherine tried her best to make this Tumblr vibes, as you can see. I mean, it's just general. It's just a general living space. I like the indoor-outdoor feel, but the living space, again, it just feels like a staged home. Like, the art on each side of the fireplace is just really generic and bad. Everything is just modern and cold and doesn't really feel like they're actual furniture. To our amazing kitchen, to me, this is way better than an old kitchen. This is triple the size. Also, the, again, the, the kitchen is just modern and generic. Nothing to it. No flavor. It's Is this an Airbnb? All right, let's go back to Danielle Bernstein um, and see what is next. Let's talk about this sofa because we had quite the journey with our sofa. So this was custom made with Marissa from Corvino Design and we literally hand drew this sofa. Many times. 20 different, no, not more than 20, like maybe yeah. like 500 different times. And first it was meant to be sort of curvy, more like the serpentine sofa. And then we kind of changed it and we wanted it to be totally- <sighs> Too much explanation. Uh, this, I actually kind of like the sofa. It's an interesting shape. I, I kind of do like the sofa. It fits the space really nicely, and I bet it's really cozy. This piece right here is amazing. We definitely worked it in for functionality first. Again, I don't really hate that weird custom piece on the back. I don't hate it. It's kind of, it's just, it's interesting. These curtains are... Our dream. We spent so long trying to find like the perfect way to do it. You know how I feel about track curtains, or maybe you don't, but I have track curtains. They are the best. For some reason, track curtains aren't as accessible or like easy to find, but I'm pretty sure Ikea just released a track curtain. So sure, I like the track curtains and I like how they're really lengthy and long. And I don't know if I would particularly choose the like sheer tool type fabric, but I go it goes with her place. I don't know what else she would do, you know? And it's a lot, it's a lot of beige. And the living room kind of just seamlessly flows into the dining room, which is where we have this really amazing custom made travertine table. I love the table. Let's just start there. I love the dining table. It's a custom travertine table. Love it. So we created this Belgium linen banquette to be really comfortable and kind of structured, but it has enough that it's like, I could sit in here for hours and we work from here. I mean, I guess that like banquette seating makes sense for the space. It doesn't look that comfortable. It looks a little too low for the table and the backing is just kind of uncomfortable. I don't know. You know, if you watch any of my videos, I don't prefer any type of bench seating. These genre chairs, which, you know, are a very popular chair but are a very serious investment that I was really proud to make. I've been eyeing them for so many years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chairs are iconic and everyone has them and they're timeless. I get it. They're not bad. They're not bad. They're just, I wouldn't expect it anything more like years ago when January made these they were actually made for like school they're just like regular people to kind of sit. just regular people <laughs> they were actually made for just regular people and now us celebrities get to sit in them the pendants you see above the dining table are made by Kit King an artist in Canada and you want to talk about like the texture in the again we putty play-doh natural organic it's literally everywhere this is this would have been the perfect chance to incorporate a really cool like glass light fixture to add a little sparkle everything is just so dull and dusty all right i think now is my cue to go back to the ace family We're so happy to have a functional pool it's actually is it warm right now warm right now if you can really see behind the pool is where we have the entertainment section if you watched his first home tour in the old house he took a jet ski into the pool and the water overflowed onto the neighbors and it caused this like whole thing so i guess it's nice that his pool isn't over a cliff <laughs> just like a general whatever pool i don't know i don't hate all this i mean it's if, if this was an airbnb to rent i would 100 percent rent this so if you're gonna show them the outside patio you might as well show them up top Oh. Where the heaters are. We got heaters. I actually love when outdoor, like, cabanas or outdoor living situations, wherever they are, this outhouse, have wooden ceilings. I actually like wooden ceilings for anything. In a home, 
wherever. I think it adds just such a nice touch of warmth, especially when there's no wood floors. It's all concrete, so. Awesome, that was for me last year for Christmas, almost exactly a year ago. And it's beautiful, and I can't really actually have a picture of myself in my house, but God bless. <laughs> and this is just gorgeous, and it's, thank you. Amen. What? I mean, kind of odd to, kind of an odd painting. I guess it's like, I don't know. I feel like if you're going to get a painting like that, like put it in a bedroom or like in your bathroom. I mean, it's kind of interesting at the top of the stairs. Again, don't judge. It's a little dirty, but we're getting there. Okay, it's not dirty. It's just unorganized Come on. in some ways. But I de definitely organize this whole site area. Oh, you did this? Oh, you did this. I did this. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's do that. Okay. Check it out. Vibes. Vibes. Again, just such a general room that like I can't even pick it apart. It's that general. All of the bedding looks like it's from Target or Home Goods, which makes me happy that they're not doing all this custom stuff ever since, you know. Why are you gonna hate on my feng shui? Why are you gonna hate on my feng shui? Whenever I try to do something nice in the house, she always shits on. Oh my god. Okay, well, uh let's uh go back to Danielle Bernstein's house. This first rug is a Killam rug that we got from Rug and Killam and is actually super rare to get a rug this size in this color. Why, well, how do you know that? Like, I feel like you can definitely get a rug in that size, in that color. <laughs> like, Killams are one of the easier rugs to, to find. And fun fact, you can dye them. So I don't feel like it's that weird or that original like it just looks like a general kill em rug this insane counter and kitchen and i was really lucky with this apartment the hardware was already so amazing like they, this part was already like this it had brass handles on everything the black with the wood and then this actually had wood behind it but we ended up covering it and lime washing over this no why more lime wash like it had wood but we lime washed it I do like that like whole back area of the kitchen. The wood is really nice and the hardware, like she said, is really nice. I like that whole back area. I really do. And then Lauren sourced these Spanish bar stools. For my friends in LA at Amsterdam Modern, these are really amazing. The, the stools, I mean, I like them. They're just, they don't look comfy. Because I do like them. I think they're an interesting shape and I like that she did something a little different and I like that they're black and she's not having more like taupey things um but yeah they don't look that comfortable but I, I honestly I do like them so I shall approve the light on the counter is super cute and I like how they have a little light on the counter kitchen lights are my favorite I've mentioned it before and I'll say it again I like a little lamp in the kitchen now let's move back to the ace family <laughs> because I don't know. The reason why I put these rugs here is because the floor is wood, right? Whenever we get out of the shower, it is extremely wet. No, yeah, for wet, sure. Right? For sure, we need rugs. And I love when my damn toes are on something like this. Wait, obviously, right? Like, you need a bath mat or a rug when you get out of the shower. This isn't, like, groundbreaking news or something to argue about. Huh? Like, no! No. So don't show, no. don't show that. Just show them I this. Love it. Oh my god, the amount of arguing that we're having to skip over. Anyways, yeah, whatever bathroom. It's interesting, like the giant shower with the bath. That's just, that's just shit to like catch a buyer's eye. You know, just doing something a little crazy and modern that makes you look really rich. Oh, don't be trying to look around these families. A little dirty, okay? Looks like every other celebrity closet. Modern, big. I would love to have a walk-in closet with an island. Yeah, guys, we're not going to show the other half of the house because... Okay, well, in that case, we will move back to Daniel Bernstein because we are done with you, Ace Family. No more house to see. Welcome to my closet. So this was actually the master bedroom. When we decided to get the apartment, we agreed that all of my stuff and my clothes and my brand collection should live in one space. That is so funny that this was the master bedroom and it's now her closet. I mean, I get it's her brand and her job, but I don't know if I would do that in if I had a partner. If I, if I was living by myself, 
maybe. So we have this amazing, amazing shoe wall that we built. This is like the hero image of the closet and it houses every single shoe that I own, um, which is awesome and it's really great. Just imagine having that many shoes. Like I have like 10 pairs of shoes <laughs> or that many bags. It'd be kind of fun. Do you think her husband has, or her boyfriend, or whatever, do you think he has a spot in the closet? <laughs> Maybe. Welcome to my bedroom. This is our green, tonal, really beautiful bedroom. I just hate it. I just hate the lime wash. And like this, the color schemes are right and earthy, I guess, but I really, really hate the lime wash. Bed is very, very pretty, but like they look how uncomfortable it looks and like the two just like little pillows. Like they didn't even want to like fluff it up. And let us not forget the little bowl of beads at the end because every influencer needs a little bowl of beads. But let's give her uh, a little bit of credit for not putting it on our coffee table, but instead on a bench at the end of her bed. So, be indifferent. I bring you guys over to see these sconces because not only do they come from Japan, but they are super special. Love and then these. our custom Burlwood nightstands. These are pretty sick. Honestly, we needed something small, but we have a thing for Burl, both of us, I think. Lovely, lovely side tables, great sconces. It's, it's honestly, this room would be good if it wasn't for the walls. It's pretty much my only take. Also, I just feel like she should have made this her closet. It's so sad that they're living in like a very small room, which you clearly see that they can't even have a king bed when the other room was massive and she could have just made that her closet. I don't know. I don't know if I would give up my my sleeping space for a massive closet or maybe like she should have an office or something where she stores all this extra stuff and then over here we have my boyfriend's desk um this was a custom made desk that we got stained to match the room perfectly so she gets a full room closet but he just has a teeny little desk all right well i'm gonna stop this now because i have no other opinions both of these people are so odd the ace family is odd daniel bernstein is really odd I mean, if I had to choose a house, it would be Daniel Bernstein's. She just has a lot more unique pieces that I actually would like in my home. The Ace Family's home is just modern and bland and whatever. And Daniel Bernstein's home is just kind of try hard. And it just threw itself all into like this weird lime wash, earthy trend that I think is going to go out of style or she just needs a mix. But in the end, design wise, Daniel Bernstein wins. Uh, Personality wise, that's up to you. Let me know. How should I feel about the Ace family or Daniel Bernstein? They both seem sketchy. <laughs> All right. It's a dark again at 4 p.m. How great. I'm going to go um, make some soup and um, I think I'm going to make a TikTok. So that's going to be fun. See you next week. Happy holidays if I don't see you before Christmas and goodbye.